Hi, everyone from Motion BFX. This lesson follows the one on the audio editing. And on this one, we will see how to mix and add effects on the audio elements. Let's start with the mix. First thing to do is to display the mixer panel. So I will click on the mixer icon. The mixer will display all the audio tracks, like here, plus one global track called Bus1. So by playing my edit, we can see the value and the amplitude of the audio for each track. For example, I can play the project and in real time, I can decrease the volume of the music track. and increase the volume on the voice track. What is really important to understand is that you are modifying the output of each track, and this is not modifying the audio elements inside the timeline. The good side is that you have a global control of the volume for each track. On the other side, you can't manage the volume clip by clip with the mixer. If you want to display only the global peak meters, you can do it by selecting meters. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionBFX.com. Okay, I will reset the volume for each track and we will see how we can adjust the volume for each audio clip inside the timeline. On each audio clip, you will find an horizontal line. With this line, you can manage the volume of the clip. For example, if I want to increase the voice, I will move up the line. We can see the audio waveforms updating and we've got also the new value of the volume. As I'm modifying the value, you can see that the color of the audio clip changed also. It is more darker. This is a way to see that we did some modification. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is gonna show you how to see On the right side, there is a speaker icon with an horizontal slider. This one will help you to manage the output of your audio monitoring, speaker or headset. You can use it to mute the global project, for example. Be careful also that your monitoring is not too low, as you may want to push the volume on each clip. The best way to be sure that your sound is okay is to look at the peak meters in order to avoid any bad surprises. Okay, next we'll see how to change or animate the volume inside a clip. Hello, my name is George Edmondson. During the intro, I would like to keep the music loud. But of course, I would like to decrease the volume when George will start to talk. So you can use the blade tool by pressing the B key and cut the music at the end of the intro. So now I can reduce the volume without affecting the intro part. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci. Still loud, let's reduce it more. If you want to be more accurate and enter a value, you can open the inspector, select the audio clip you want to modify, then in the audio tab you will get access to the volume parameter, and you can enter the value of your choice. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. It is okay, but by cutting the music track, we don't have many options and controls to smooth the transitions. Let's try a second method. This time, I will add keyframes to animate the volume. By pressing the Option key and by clicking on the volume line, you can add a keyframe. Of course, to create a transition between two values, we need the second keyframe. So I will create a second one before. I can adjust the value on the second keyframe, and we have our audio transition. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. You have the options between two types of interpolation, linear or is in We will see in a couple of minutes how to manage it. I would like to start the music with a fade-in at the beginning. I could add keyframes, but DaVinci Resolve has dedicated fade-in, fade-out options for all the audio clips. You just have to drag to the right the little white cursor, I will zoom inside to get a better view on it. In the middle of the line, there is a dot. This one can modify the interpolation, so you can slow down or speed up the audio transitions by moving it. Hello, my name is George Edwards. I will also adjust my keyframes. And at the end, I will also add a fade out on the music track. 
we can see that we have a curve icon on the bottom right of the clip. If you click on it, it will display the volume curve. With this curve, you will be able to adjust the interpolation we've seen earlier. If I switch back to linear, we can visualize how the volume transition will interpolate. I will change the interpolation to ease in. With the curve, I will be able to adjust the smoothness of the animation by adjusting the tangent of each keyframes. Let's have a look to the inspector. We've already seen the volume parameter and see that if we modify the parameter inside the inspector, it will modify in real time inside the timeline. By double-clicking on the name of the parameter, you will reset it, and we can see that the audio clip switch back to a brighter green. As soon as you will modify one parameter, it will become darker. Below the volume, you will find the pan parameter. It will give you the possibility to move the sounds from the left speaker to the right speaker. By default, the value is set to zero, so the sound is equally dispatched on both speakers. I will animate this parameter by adding keyframes. At the beginning, I will set the audio on the left speaker, and at the end, I will set it on the right speaker. Hello, my name is George Edwards with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get started. Then, you will get access to the pitch parameter. With the semitones and sense parameter, you will be able to modify the tonality of the voice. Hello, my name is George Edwards with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get started. But the cool thing is the fact that you can do it in real time, and you can animate it. Hello, my name is George Edwards from MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in the nation resolve. Hi. Let's get started. The speed change parameter will be available when you will change the speed of the clip. Below, you will be able to activate the equalizer. With the equalizer, you can push or remove some frequencies. That can help a lot to remove some parasite noise, for example. This equalizer is a four bands equalizer, meaning that you will be able to adjust the frequencies of four parts of the audio spectrum. So you can modify the value of the frequency, the gain, and the type of the interpolation. Inside the mixer, you can also adjust the pan with a different interface. This one is more dedicated for surround tracks, where you place the sound on the left, on the right, but also in the front or in the back. Like for video clips, inside the edit page, you will get access to the audio transitions and filters. So if I click on the FX tab, you can open the audio FX folder, where you can find Fairlight FX. These effects can be very useful to correct some issues you can have with some audio elements, like reverb, echo, or noise. Or you can also add some effects, like echo, for example. So I can drag and drop the echo filter directly on the audio clip. A dedicated interface will appear. Almost all the audio filters have their own interface. So you can modify every parameter to get your effect. But you can also use presets to get instant results. Hello, my name is George Edwards with MotionVFX.com. Um, today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. And finally, you can create your own presets for each FX. When an effect is applied on one audio clip, you can find it inside the inspector in the FX tab. Main parameters are available, but if you need to call back the dedicated interface, you just have to click on this icon and the interface will show up. All the effects can be also applied to a complete audio track. You just have to drag and drop the effect on the track inside the mixer. This is great when you want to add a global correction to a track. Besides the Fairlight FX, you can get access to VST plugins if you have already installed some on your system. For example, here I've installed some Isotope RS6 plugins on my Mac, and I can use them directly inside DaVinci Resolve with the Isotope interface. Also, as I'm on Mac, Mac operating system provides audio units FX, so you can use them directly inside DaVinci Resolve. So if you need an equalizer with more bands, you can use this one, for example. Of course, all these plugins can be edited inside the FX tab in the inspector. 
If you need to go further for the mix or add more effects or voiceover, you can switch to the Fairlight page, which is a dedicated page for the audio editing. And the beauty with the DaVinci Resolve's workflow is the fact that all your work inside the edit page is available inside the Fairlight page. So the mix, the color tracks, the fade in, fade out, effects, tracks, name, everything will be there inside the Fairlight page. So inside the Fairlight page, you can push further your audio mix with dedicated tools and interface. We will discover the Fairlight page in our further free DaVinci Resolve Motion VFX Academy lessons. So don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when the new lessons will will be available. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.